Also at 5.30, he is speaking out and his words are coming as a shock to some local Catholics. Archbishop Alan Vigneron is addressing the priest abuse scandal and disagreeing with the Vatican. Archbishop Alan Vigneron's Advent letter to parishioners expressed his concerns about the sex abuse scandal. It's highly unusual to see this kind of public rift between Rome and its bishops, and the controversy is deeply upsetting to the faithful. Rod Maloney here to fill us in on the divide and the reaction to it. Rod. The sex abuse scandal is causing problems within the Catholic Church, deep concerns from parishioners all the way on up to the hierarchy. And now we have a letter out by Archbishop Vigneron talking about how he is not so happy with the way the Pope is handling the problem. The Archbishop told the faithful, quote, I am tempted to discouragement in the face of the ongoing crisis, end quote discouraged by Pope Francis after he gave an order to American bishops at a recent Baltimore meeting. The Archbishop noting further in his letter, quote, I was among many who were surprised and concerned that the Holy See instructed the bishops not to vote on any of our abuse related proposals, end quote. He further elaborated on the radio. We unfortunately, I think, unfortunately, we weren't able to vote. But again, in God's providence, I can see that he can bring good out of that. Now, Deborah Bloomfield of Wyandotte is no ordinary Catholic. She reads about the popes and studies church teachings. She has a papal blessing of her marriage. The sacred heart hangs on the wall. And she's saying this about the pope. The Holy Father is sidestepping issues. He has only created confusion. The spiritual crisis the church faces has many questioning the church's leadership, and Deborah applauds the archbishop's letter and believes there is much he can do that he hasn't, at least publicly. He has authority. He doesn't have to rely on, on the other bishops. He can lead here in this diocese, and we're behind him. We're praying for him. We're praying for the victims of abuse. Now, the Archbishop has a four-point plan, or at least the bishops, he said, have a four-point plan uh, that would start with a crisis hotline and then a, a, a forum to investigate those complaints, particularly against bishops. And then he also said that they want to find a place for bishops to live in the life of the church after any discipline if, in fact, they are uh, uh, essentially found guilty for problems. The Archbishop saying that he and his fellow bishops intend to press on to try and get something accomplished. Back to you. Yeah, you can understand how Catholics would be be careful with how they what they say and Rod is there anything on the horizon that would give the Archbishop reason to think that something might be able to change here well, yes, uh, the, the Archbishop says that there's going to be a meeting of the presidents of the differing councils across the globe, and he believes that at that conference upcoming with the, the Pope, that maybe something can get done about this sex crisis in the church. He claims he's going to continue to press for that. Well, a lot of people will be watching for sure. All right, Rod, thanks.